So my name's David, and you'll meet my wife, Gina, in a moment. And we thought we would show you around our brand new 2020 Scamp 16 foot. Uh, the reason is we uh, bought this sight unseen and relied on videos. And you know, they always leave a few questions. So we're gonna try and thoroughly cover this whole 16 feet contraption in one go. So we'll start with the inside. All right. Mrs? Yes. Where are you at? I'm right here. All right. Putting lotion on me. This is Gina, like I said. All right, so this was the maiden voyage of our 16-foot scamp, which I'm thoroughly in love with. Um, we did the deluxe, so everything's wood, which is freaking awesome. It's really nice wood construction. Thick, not it's cheap not wood. not laminate. No. It's really nice. This is the really birch. Really thick. We did the we birch. We preferred it over oak. Yeah. It's just prettier, I think. Um, so we have a porch light, which turns on here, and there's also a light that turns on at the front. So if you need to do something with yeah, your gear not quite sure about that. At night, it's right there. Night. It's right there with the with the yeah. There you go. Not quite sure the purpose of that, but there you go. Um, do you want to come in? Yeah. yeah come in. All right. So start at the beginning. What's this All cupboard? Right. So this I use as my pantry. Should I probably come in. So this is my pantry. So it's, it's actually really deep and it holds a lot of stuff. Lots of chips by the looks of things. <laughs> and crackers. And other dry foods. Cereal, All things right. like that. All right. And then we have this and this and what's great is so we can stay packed all the time. So much. All our clothes. Mostly hers. I got a coat in there, maybe a sweater. She got lots and, of stuff. And we did this little hanging shelf. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me just get in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you can't see it. Um, but anyway, it's one of those things that you can put in your closet. It hangs on the hook there. I think it's out of focus, but you'll figure it out. And it, anyways, I put my towels and yeah. stuff on it. And uh, then, okay, we have a towel on the door right now because we haven't decided where we're gonna put hooks. And I'm thinking I wanna put a hook on the inside of the bathroom. Let me turn the light on. Well, here's why. Here's why, if you hang it on the outside and the door swings open, yeah, the little heater, heater is your right there. On, yeah, that's not necessarily the best thing. So we figure, put it on the inside. You put it right here. One of those stick-on hooks. And um, you have a shower curtain. I'm gonna get different railings with little rollers on it because it doesn't roll very well. That is true. But, um, but you have a shower curtain, so it'll protect it. Mm. And showers are fast. You're not lingering in a shower in your trailer. No. Nope. Like so quick. here's the bathroom. It's got a little sink set up. We got a few bits and pieces, including a necessity for camping. The poo -pourri, poo pourri, which is basically a little spray you can spray on the top of the water. And because it's oil, I guess it creates a seal so none of the stank gets out. But should you need it, I guess we have this business here, which is a little... Oh, it's kind of hard to open to start with. And you can put the fan on. Yeah. I haven't seen how effective that is yet. We will have to wait and see. It's also for moisture. Yeah. This it is did not oh, come oh. with a toilet roll holder. Yeah. So we bought one. We haven't figured out where to stick to that yet. How it works. How it works. I think people know how a toilet roll holder Well, works. no, because this is a keeps your toilet roll dry holder. Yeah. Well, so it's different. Yeah. So it flips up. So your toilet roll, when you're showering or doing something, won't get wet. That's ah, the beauty of that. Good thinking. Yeah. Good to think of that. We're going to put it probably like People that there. sold it to us. <laughs> also. But the shower pan is just a, a basic uh, plastic pan. And there's a couple things you need to know about this that I didn't know. One of which is it doesn't drain that well. So it comes with right under the light, a drain pump that you turn on and you hear it gurgling away there because you have to pump the water out when you're using the sink or the shower. Mm -hmm. So between that and the fact that camping is really dirty, that shower pan gets really gross, dirty, messy, stagnant water in it really fast. So I just built this and I'll, I'll work on a video on how to showing you how to make that another time, but it's basically cherry wood. Gina oiled it up with some linseed oil and it mm -hmm. seems to be working just It's just fine. really nice when you step on it, you're not stepping in, getting muddy, slippery feet mm -hmm. everywhere. It's better. All right, so storage, 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 storage. So much Tons storage. Tons of storage. So look, look, see I keep plates. All right, plates, plates and things. Cups. Cups and things. And things. 
what have we got over here? This is a game cupboard. So we've got cupboard. the rummy cube and looks like cards. tissues, cards, <laughs> dice, things like that. And then clothes, we keep clothes, clothes in the other clothes, cupboards. Clothes, clothes, clothes. flashlights and, you know, thick candles, things you need. Citronella candles. My party lights on yeah. the other side. And then here I just put my utensils. I've got a, I put my big knives in a bag just so that, you know, they're cutting. If you're reaching in for something, you're not going to cut yourself. And then these are our, for the, we chose this stove top. We could have got the more expensive glass one that flips up because it's a little narrower. You, your stove has to go this way and the glass flips. I don't know. We just didn't like it. So we did this one. It's also cheaper. Um, but you have to um, use a, a fire starter to My start it. My goodness, it's so rustic. You have to use a fire starter to start <laughs> your... Yeah, the other one comes with a clicker is the point. The other one, just you just turn it on, it click, click, and lights the fire for you. But right. that wasn't a big deal to me. But it comes, well, I guess it comes, you pay extra. Um, we ended up oh. getting it with a stove cover that does sit nicely on it and yeah. kind of hides that. I'll show you. But we kind of use it before she moves it. Did you, hold up, lady. Okay. Hold up. You can just throw it on the bed there and it's extra surface while you're cooking for mm -hmm. whatever else. I mean, you're not going to chop on it or anything, mm -mm. but you know, an extra plate or something that you've got mm -hmm. something on the side, off to Super the side, cool. just but it solid fits over. for traveling. It fits over. And it's also just compact. the boom. I got a surface that if I yeah. need a surface for anything, like when I'm doing my dishes, yeah. I could put my drying rack on top of it. You could. And then boom, I got that. But I kind of just like it over here. I just plop it. It's really heavy. It's really sturdy. And then I just keep things on it in the daytime. Oh, because we have to show them the little bits and bobs over here. Yeah, well, that's where the chargers are. The most important thing, the yeah. USB charger. Oh, and my heater for hot oh, water. Yeah. And also my heater for my... Yeah. I thought that heat. I was worried to start with that because the sort of the bed goes under there and feet might be there, that these switches would get knocked on accidentally and we'd be overheating something or turning on. Uh, voltage where we didn't need to and drain the battery and it really hasn't it's just not going to happen mm -mm. it's not a problem but um so what else oh oh this is oh and i love the window too over the stove because if you are cooking we don't cook bacon and stuff and you know no frying in the cabin that's what i've decided boom but the window is there yeah that's the, that's that's the moisture moisture and, the, and they've got that like glass so it's you can't see through because you obviously you can't put curtains over your stuff. And then this is freaking awesome. <laughs> this is a, it's a cutting board. Uh, yeah. um, Didn't come with the camper. No. We searched high and low looking for really odd shape, 13 by 15 inches. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything. And then bam, she found something that fits just perfectly. Perfectly. And if you know, so you can chop on it yeah. and then if you're the cooking. Legs. But it, what's great is it's got these adjustable legs. Use a screwdriver, loosen them up, and you put adjust them where it you want. to where your sink is. Yep. Mine, I had to just push it in yeah. a little bit. And then it sits super securely, not going anywhere. Kaboom. Yep, nice. Really All right. nice. Um, you'll notice that we have the kitchen towel sitting on the bed. Um, that's a temporary thing. Yeah, I got a spot um, for it. There's, there's, yeah, it's, it's hard to find spots, but the way we're going to configure and have configured is because we got this side table here, which is good for playing games and eating. hanging out and eating. It holds rummy cube, no problem. <laughs> Enough surface for rummy cube. For the rummy cube players amongst us. But what we do is we leave the bed up the whole time. And we're never and gonna we're never gonna have a four person table there. We're not gonna nope. nobody gets to come in our camper. Nope. So uh, if we don't have a table, they can't come in. So <laughs> what we use it for is for travel, we put um uh, the long chairs, the carpet, you know, stuff like that. And it really didn't move Nothing around. Fell Nothing fell out. I might eventually put some hooks in here, off to the side, and off to the other side here. And I might put some um, netting over there, just in case we go down a steep hill and I'm breaking or whatever. But it didn't move on the uphill, downhill we did on the way here. Yep. And um, so, what? back to the kitchen it's towel. extra storage space. Yeah, back to the kitchen towel, because we're never putting this up. Our thought is maybe to get a kitchen roll holder yeah. and have it down there. Perfect. Because there's also no real good space for a little garbage can. And now you want your, most of your garbage outside, but for your little bits of wrappers and stuff, um, you kind of need something inside. So again, we're going to get something. Right now we've got the old plastic bag solution, but basically a small little bucket, low level bucket 
that we can put waste paper basket that we can put that in as a liner and then your grocery bags can be used for that so what else do we have oh and then so so we did this we have this little drawer now it's not big because the sink obviously but it holds you know necessities can openers things like that and then you have this little drawer over here which is the flatware drawer and this was awesome so i put a couple of knives that i want to keep handy on the side but then my husband found this this is so cool for I mean, what? Look at <laughs> well, that. otherwise, there's no real way of getting a, 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 a silverware cutlery dis, uh, divider that will fit in such a narrow, long drawer. But we found like, this one. Oh, my gosh. Can't and it remember. just... And then I got these really cute camping. See the little acorns? <laughs> no, no, I didn't see the acorns. It wasn't fast enough on the uptake. And then the cupboard down here, it's not as roomy as you would think because it has my hot water heater in it. But... I do keep all my cleaning supplies, garbage bags. It's got a little room on the side. Um, Mosquito repellent, sun lotion, lotions. Uh, counter cleaner, just all the stuff you put under a kitchen sink. It's yeah. probably got enough room. Yeah. We haven't run out yet. Yeah. I mean, and having yeah. a water heater is worth it. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And have a shower without a water heater. Um, and then this little cubby is a actually, surprise. What, okay. Hang on. This is a little surprise cubby, too, down under the seat here. And you can't really see in, but it's big enough to hold a makeup bag. I keep um, toiletries, all the yeah. all the soaps and shampoos. And... and she has a little makeup bag in there. But there's also another secret stash mm -hmm. under the chair here. And we're going to keep like spare toilet roll and things down here. Yeah, stuff you don't need to get to too often. Cause, there you go. Yeah. Boom, boom. It's like, it's not, you know, it's, not deep. it's toilet roll deep, but it's, it's a lot of space. Toilet roll deep. That's a measurement, huh? Yeah. Right. now. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, as came with brown cushions when it was supposed to come with green, so we're working on that. So they're sending us some yeah. green to cover. But the whole idea is to tie it in. She got, did you talk about the curtains yet? No, because it right. came with curtains, little brown ones like that are on the door. Let me show you the ones on the door. Step outside again. They're just a little thin. A little bit thin. It's hard to tell, but if you unhook the door, you can see that a lot of light comes through those. Yeah. So they're good for privacy and it's fine on the door. Mm -hmm. and, I, and they slide open if I want to let yeah. open. Oh, but... look, we still got our sticker there from our welcome sticker. <laughs> um, but anyway, she replaced all those with just curtains that she found online. Yep. And I know she wants to tell you about the ties. Yes, I do. Let's move it. All right, so I bought these curtains because they're little blackout curtains. They weren't expensive at all, but they're nice and they come in lots of colors. So, you know, pick your color. Um, but I got these ties. These are magnets, really strong magnets. So if I close it at night, I just do that, and then, and then the tie just, oops, just sticks on. So I, you know, I don't have and to worry about. And if you want to really like staple your curtain shut because you're worried that like light is getting through on one side or the other, yeah, you can, you can use the magnets to like cinch it down. And they're pretty. Yeah, that too. So, uh, but it's just really easy to then close your curtains in the night, open them up in the day. We kind of got one that somebody else had ordered, which saved us waiting. Um, but it came with a microwave, something we probably wouldn't have ordered because we do a lot of dry camping. But it's there, and I'm sure we yep. will use it when we're plugged in. And you can also use it for storing stuff. And if you didn't want a microwave, this would be a another pantry cabinet. And as I like to point out, a microwave is also a cabinet if you're not using it as yeah. a microwave. <laughs> All right, the fridge, last the fridge but not least. The fridge is freaking awesome. Oh, i got to go this side. Yeah. Just move around. All right, so it seals shut. It's got these little buttons on top to open it, so you know it's all secure. It won't pop open when you're driving. But OMG, so much space. So much space. It actually came with an extra rack that couldn't work for us. No. Because the way they configure it, um, it would have to be in the way of milk and, this, and orange juice and this and stuff. rack can't be down here. Yeah, because there's the this pokey out tray. But it's a really nice bottom drawer there that you can pull out. Mm -hmm. It's got three little compartments. Back yeah. And then of course you got your racks. Another rack. Different racks. And then the and freezer. Then the still our resistance. <gasps> Where you can camp with ice cream. <laughs> More ice what? cream than you could ever eat in a week. And and I still apparently. have room for my ice tray down here below. Yeah, a couple of ice cubes. What we what what we do is all the beer and the, the sodas and stuff, that's still in a cooler we outside. Just say, we just pack a cooler yeah. in there. But 
everything else it's really nice to have in the fridge right and there. the pots and pans and then lastly pots and pans down below down below you gotta reach down but it actually holds okay a, a lot set of but look at the pots and pans we have these oh, yeah. are okay compact right and then my sister-in-law got us these and my friend from wales but look at that it's Boom. huge and, and we've got a with lids. large medium and small that they uh -huh. all stack inside oh. each other and boom the kettle's also, probably got water in so it does no, the same thing we're not going to fold that down it's empty. But trust me it does it oh she's going to show it's you empty. she's going to show off her kettle so the kettle right and then it folds down Chaboom. and then i just put it in with that when yeah. we're done but so we've got a frying pan a griddle pan large medium small we've got a salad bowl we got a whole bunch of stuff down there oh and we have a ac yeah came with ac we got ac which we might not have got either but because yeah. you can't you can't run the ac or the microwave unless you're plugged in yeah you need power which, for that everything else runs on propane whatever. including the fridge and we have a fan which truly could oh, cool yeah. you off the fan is really all you need That's i think cool. We've got this 10 speed fan. I think it's pretty standard, but you turn it on and it's programmed to open the lid and turn it on to whatever speed you've got. But you can adjust it to uh, different speeds to suck air in or out. I don't get the wrong way around. But anyway, you get the idea. And all sorts of fancy settings that we'll probably never use. And then you turn it off. It comes with a remote, by the way. I'm not quite sure where that is right now, but uh, you, can, you can be 